Here's a quick video for you. I've had a look at some stuff on the Titus TV channel. I'll stick some links in the description. I suggest going on over and having a look at that channel. I'll have a look at a few of that um, the videos on there for Elden Ring. There's some really good stuff on there. It's no no nonsense, just um, data and maths and fact-based builds, guides. Some a load of really short guides for picking up locations of items. So what I've done here, this is a level one helps me get status tab up, John. Level one character. I think the uh, the official technical jargon describes it as RL one, room level one. So everything else can be whatever level you want. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff equipped. That thing's good. That'll give you plus five to vigor, endurance, strength, dexterity. That hat is giving me a plus one to vigor. It's carrying knight armor. It's easy enough to get that. Noble stuff is easy enough to get that. I went and fought the ancient hero of Zamor in the, what's it called? Weeping Everjail. To get that but you can't equip that at the same time as that i thought i could and give myself a plus eight but you can't that's not really worth having what what i'm aiming to do is equip godric's rune for the extra hp and hopefully have enough to summon the mimic <laughs> which is you know stupid if i can i've got him there he is needs 660 hp i got 547 i don't know I don't know what will happen when I put Godric's rune on. I haven't tried it yet. I mean, I've killed him. Killed Godric. There's a bunch of other stuff that I've killed. That hero of some more that I was talking about. Um, a couple of knights... Ca well, I killed a couple of knights cavalry and cheesed the third one to get the Bloodhound Step. Bloodhound Step's quite handy. So I've got a fire scimitar with flame and the red mains on it. That's pretty good. Got a serpent bow. I can actually use that. Obviously I can use that because what I do is stick that on. Um, and then I can use it. 18 arcane. I've got that finger thing. Two fingers, what's it? To stick faith up to 15. So that means I can cast various faith spells. I can probably do a dragon incantation or two get rain to it and picking up a few of these things it's not really much use yeah but the idea is if i can get health high enough to get a mimic because um I'll get my map up show you where i've been basic strategy with this is you pick a bunch of stuff up around Kalid using the, the transporters in the game you can get into um capital city early with a wrong warp didn't really do much there I just went in just to get that sealed tunnel that's where you get the bell bearing two and the um, Ray Lucaria tunnels where you get a bell bearing one I went in there I just went in there with some unleveled an unleveled uh, let's have a look what did I go in there with that yeah, it wasn't plus six at the time, so I didn't have anything. It was that and that I went in there with, with like, on zero level. So you want something that will do that kind of damage. You don't want slashing damage. You want some serious busting up damage. And that crystallian, crystallian thing in there doesn't last too long. But yeah, the key part of this build is up in Volcano Manor. You get up there... Well, you, you go to um, Rhea Lucaria, you get abducted in Rhea Lucaria and zapped across to Volcano Manor. Then I kind of cheese killed the, the Godskin Noble doing that thing where you just slowly walk in through the front door, got him, and then you get up to this audience pathway. Now, this is, this is where you go for the Rikard fight. So I had to like run in here, level one. I think I had the carrying set on and I was just dodging things. 
But once you, when you go in, this is the key part of this. You go in there, and there's a special weapon. So no point going in now. I'll show you what I got. You you get this thing, this serpent hunter. Now at level one, if you look at that, attributes requires all zero. So any any character could you know wield this at any level. And then I went on a a, a search around you know picking up somber smithing stones got that up to plus nine and that's pretty good so you know some of the footage i've got on here you'll see doing godric doing the dark the dark yeah the knight's cavalry and some of the stuff is very effective but yeah the what i want to do because i funny thing was i I was aware of all these items because I've done that Rikard fight on a couple of characters and picked that thing up. It never really occurred to me. It never occurred to me to run a character up there at level one and get it. Because, you know, <laughs> who would think to do that? Well, obviously a whole bunch of people. Speedrunners and whatever. But yeah, I, the main information I got was from the Titus TV channel because he's got a guide that shows you how to do this. I didn't... Well, I mostly followed to the letter what he was saying. But then I got a bit distracted and carried away and went searching around and picked up a whole load more stuff. Because um, cause that's the sort of game it is. I mean, I've come over here and done a whole load of things that aren't in his video. Just picking stuff up doesn't mean this is better. I mean, his basic plan to get that weapon and level it to nine, plus nine, you can just destroy most things. Um, see if I, I'll just show you like I said I've done Margit, Godric a couple of Knights Cavalry but you can do jumping attacks with this and just watch this guy go down oh it helps if you actually hit him jump you have some of that you right I've got the Godric rune on so guess what I can do now? Yep. Takes me down to 20 HP, but... Helps if you actually use it. Look at that. Whack that back up. I've got a Mimic. With this stupid weapon. Yeah, he knew to two-hand it, didn't he? What I can do now and swap some stuff around so I don't need that 660 anymore. It's gone back down to um, alright, 640, 652. All I've got to do now is get that Shabiri's Woe thing, stick that on him, and he'll take all the aggro. Come down here, mate. I want to see you fight. Come down here. Get involved. Fight this guy, look. Fight him. That'll do. <laughs> Get in there, look. Go on. He's worse than me. You're worse than me, mate. You know, I'm not a good player by any stretch of the imagination. I need all the help I can get. So running around with this thing, whacking people over the head with this serpent hunting thing, is um, it's a good laugh. And there's nothing particularly deep and meaningful about what I'm doing here. It's just I'm just having a laugh with the game. I've got a bunch of characters I'm playing properly without <laughs> without all these wrong warps and dodgy dodgy cheese kills and whatever. But if you want to have a laugh whoop. and actually going up to Volcano Manor and doing all that stuff and running around and collecting everything at um at, oh god at level one. There you go. At level one is it's it's good fun. But not if you not if you haven't played through the game before. I mean, if you haven't played through the game and you do it, you're probably really cheating yourself out of the proper experience. And I'm not just that's not me as a like a ooh, you know a gatekeeper or whatever. But then it's up to you if you want to start the game off and cheat, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I, I'd probably advise you not to do it. But yeah. Um, that's it really. So thanks to Titus TV. Shout out to him again. Go and have a look at his channel. His content's a hell of a lot better than mine. <laughs> Go 
have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.